Hugs and kisses from his wife and three children on the dock, and then Chris Hopkinson put his paddle in the water to mark the beginning of a 240 mile course in nine days. Like physically, I feel great. Right now, it's just, let's just get on the water and get this thing going. Day one of the Bay Paddle, Friday, September 18th. Two years of planning and training brought him to this day, a beautiful one to launch and have it a grace on a course that will have him finishing in Virginia Beach. I mean, it honestly has never crossed my mind, like doing this for the first time. I'm not really doing it to paddle the bay, right? I'm doing it to bring more awareness to oysters and bring more oysters in the bay. So like paddling the bay and that is not really the goal, right? Saving the bay, protecting the bay, making people more aware of the importance of oysters, that's the goal. We can thank his daughter, Olivia, and her middle school science project. She wanted to see if oysters really filter the water. Hopkinson shared these pictures before and after the oysters were in the water for just three hours. It was insane. The oysters were filtering it so fast. We did the project and got an A+. Plus. Not in a rag or anything. But. Hopkinson set a goal to raise $200,000 for Oyster Recovery Partnership. In fact, just $10 will add up. $10 still plants a thousand oysters in the bay, so we're still looking for everybody to plant or for everybody to donate $10. And, and I'm going to paddle eight hours a day, hoping that more people donate $10 and we hit the $200,000 goal. You can follow along with his daily progress on the Bay Paddle blog. As of Monday, he raised more than $137,000 and traveled 67 miles to Tillman, Maryland. And he suited up for some pain treatments. He has meals on his board, but gets off the water for a good night's sleep. Chris is about to undergo a trip representing what the bay once was with the clarity of the waters, the rockfish so big they look like sea monsters, oysters average so large they could have been dinner plates. We want to bring the bay back to what it was. All the money that Chris is raising will go directly to putting oysters in the water. This is really the first campaign where the Oyster Recovery Partnership um, actually will be able to use funds not only to apply those to building reefs in Maryland but also Virginia. So we brought partners on from Virginia. We're going to distribute the funds down in Virginia. And this will go, those funds will go directly to putting oysters in the water. Those oysters in the water will have this man to thank for raising awareness and money, an effort we're proud to stand by as the media sponsor. I'm doing this for nine days, so I mean you could donate anytime, right? I'd love to get to the two hundred thousand dollar goal. So thank you all very much. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.